we get way too many problems on rose plants especially in summer and during the monsoon sometimes even rose plants die if we don't take proper care today i am going to discuss everything about summer and monsoon rose care let's start the video by looking at some real results this is the recording from the month of may that time the temperature was around 37 degrees celsius on average let me show you the dead very quickly. As you can see, my plants were blooming quite well. Plants were healthy, no any diseases and in fact, button rose was blooming heavily too. Here again, this is the footage from July and let's take a look at the date. It has been raining in my place almost daily from last one month. The plants are still blooming, but I can spot few yellow leaves here and there. It's totally normal and whatever we do, it's going to happen during the continuous rainfall. Overall, the plants look healthy and growing well. Because of hot weather, the size of the bloom is getting decreased, which is again totally normal. So what we need to do to take proper care of roses in summer or in monsoon. Please follow the steps. Step number one, pest attack is quite common during this time. So we need to apply pesticide on regular basis and try to apply once in seven to 10 days. I use Theta pesticide. It's a bio pesticide and dose is 1.5 ml in one liter water. Instead of this, we can also use Exodus. All products are available on Amazon and dose is 1.5 to 2 ml in 1 liter water. Please note, almost any pesticide is going to work if you don't skip the step number 2 or else I highly recommend you to use only Theta. Step number 2. Roses prefer warm and dry climate to grow well and summer temperature like above 35 degrees Celsius is too much for roses. Because of this, growth stops. To encourage the growth, we need to use growth promoter. I use Super Sonata and trust me, it works really well. The dose is 1.5 ml in 1 liter water. Whenever spraying anything, please do either very early morning or during the sunset. Applying Super Sonata once in 45 to 60 days is fine and avoid using too frequently. Step number 3. For fertilizer, I normally use liquid one during the summer. Have been using Takat and it's available on Amazon. The dose is 5 ml in 1 liter water and apply once in 15 to 20 days. Before applying it, let the top soil slightly dry out and do a little bit tilling. Along with this, I also use 4 to 5 DAP crystals in the similar interval. Here you are able to see more DAP crystals as it's a different plant. Taking this footage just to demonstrate the application. As an alternative, we can use this. First component 25 grams mustard cake powder. Second component 30 grams bone meal. Third component 25 grams neem cake powder. And last component is 10 grams Epsom salt. Repeat the same once in 30 to 40 days. Please note I am using a 14 inch wider and 14 inch deeper pot. Decrease the dose in case you are using smaller pot like 8 to 10 inch. Here it is how you can apply them. First remove the surrounding soil near about 2 inches deep. Apply the components and then cover them with the soil whatever you have removed. Or if you like, you can also use fresh soil mix. During the monsoon, it's difficult to dig out the soil. And that's why I prefer to use liquid nutrients. Having said that, the second option is better as heavy rains and increased rainwater wash away liquid nutrients too fast. Step number four, avoid doing hard pruning during the summer or in monsoon. Of course, we can keep doing the deadheading. While doing that, simply look for 5 leaf pattern and cut slightly above it. We can start doing hard pruning from September-October onwards. 
Step number five. Another common problem that we face is very light green or kind of yellow leaves on our rose plants which occurs mostly on the new growth. It happens due to the lack of iron. To treat this we need to apply agronym. It contains 7.5% iron and 5% zinc. Dose is 1 ml in 1 liter water and here I am taking a 2 liter sprayer that's why measuring 2 ml. Please note you don't have to use the exact products whatever I am showing here. Feel free to use anything else if it's working for you. To keep the plants healthy, try to spray the agronym once in 7 to 10 days. Avoid spraying on the blooms as it may discolor them. Step number 6. During monsoon, we may also find black spot disease on the leaves of rose plants. It's a fungus attack and to prevent this, we need to use fungicide. We can use fungicide like SAF and dose is 2 grams in 1 liter water. In case you are able to spot black spot disease only on 2 to 3 leaves, it's okay and no need to apply fungicide. Just remove the leaves as soon as you spot them and avoid using those leaves in compost if you do at your home. Step number 7. Roses need constantly moist soil and please avoid letting the topsoil dry out something like this. During the summer time, I need to water them thoroughly on daily basis. Also if possible, try to protect your roses from midday or even afternoon sunlight. 5 to 6 hours of morning sunlight would be fine. During extreme hot weather, it's actually better to grow them under green net. Basically, these are the most important things that we need to do as summer and monsoon rose care. Of course, in September, October, we need to do some different things so that we can get lots of flowers on our roses. I already have videos on them and for more info, please feel free to check out my next video. Hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you so much for watching, truly appreciate it, have a great time and enjoy.